Hi guys, it is the Biking Squirrel, and uh, I am in some woods, as I quite often am, uh, with my bike. I just found a cool new set of trails that I got tipped off about, and uh, they're old and need a bit of work, but uh, I'm looking forward to you know, cleaning up a little bit and then doing a bit of, spit, a bit of filming. It doesn't mean that I've been ridden in a couple of years, but I, I'm not sure. It's hard to tell sometimes when it's uh, winter. Um, and yeah, they look pretty awesome, so I'm quite excited. They're really tight in places, and there's some interesting uh, there's some interesting choices. <laughs> the um, yeah, so for example, here's a drop, and then it just sort of goes into a 90 degree angle corner. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that, but uh, this is kind of cool. If I can get the speed, there's a little gap here. So it's just, I think it's, ooh, I don't know, it does look a little bit ridiculous for me. It might look more doable on camera, but that's what I have to say. <laughs> and then another <laughs> sharp left-hander into the weirdest little kicker thing. I don't know if I can even show how, like, it's just like, I don't know. To be fair, I think it won't be that bad when I hit it. I've run into it twice and then just going like, nah. so yeah, the woods look pretty awesome. It looks so desaturated on my my monitor, but it, it's pretty green actually. It's really really mossy. Anyway, uh, let's do a little bit of raking, I think. Yeah, this rake is uh, it's seen the woods a little bit. <laughs> Still, I'm only gonna take a few bits of the car. I'm location scouter, but uh, I think I'm gonna do a couple of trial shots at least just to see what it looks like. See how slow I'm riding. Probably exceptionally slow. I've been on the bike for a month, so. Uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yes. Right then. Shot one, take one. Now, take two. It's proven to be super, super tight, but also like quite large, so yeah, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I think there's definitely potential here. There's a 9 out of 10 chance this is going to go badly. Yeah, luckily I managed to land right in the soft pit. <laughs> right, this ought to be kind of funny. I just think it's going to be like... <laughs> I can't see how it's not going to be like that. <laughs> 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 Well, I'm going to call it a day for now because I had the rain shoot about my van. But uh, looking forward to getting back probably tomorrow, maybe the day after, and uh, get some footage. It's going to be really hard to get speed through some of these obstacles, but um, I think it'll be worth it hopefully once I can get uh, up to speed. Some of this stuff is like really like fun and loamy, and then you've just got these random like drops and kickers. I mean, fair play to the builders, there's like loads of fallen trees. So it's kind of hard not to just have to build little jumps and stuff over them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, super stoked to find this little spot. So 
so I do something that I think probably most mountain bike filmmakers can do, which is that I make a shot with summer fly. What I don't do, I don't plan every single shot. Like from the beginning, I just sort of, I essentially just sort of wing it. And um, I have like maybe three, four shots ahead. So I'm thinking ahead, but I'm only thinking a few couple shots ahead. And this is a new lens, a different lens, so I sort of group my shots together, which is kind of problematic sometimes, but I don't think it's going to matter with this one, because I basically almost entirely shoot wide angle, and then I just place in the odd tighter angle with the, my 40mm lens. So, uh, yeah. A little bit of breaking going into there, but oh my god, <laughs> those trees are close together. <laughs> So I'm going to get one more shot here, mainly because this is a ridiculously fun one session. Um, what I'm going to do is, because I've actually done my 240 shots, I'm going to change back, just going to change back to the wide angle anyway. Um, I'm looking to find a way to get these two, two little manual, manual to jump in the same shot. So uh, this is the current dilemma. Oh, big gap in the vlog, but uh, yeah, just mash mission down the last few shots. Got a bit tired, but you know, ride something fun and then get the adrenaline back and then just mission through. So, um, yeah, I think that's a wrap. I think I'll uh, find out if it's actually a wrap or not later when I'm going through the footage, but uh, successful day and uh, stoked. Thank you. So day two of filming for my uh, new solo edit. When I got home, I basically decided that uh, yeah, it needs to be a little bit longer. Um, and so I've come to Benai Main Trails, which I did say I was going to avoid. But I'm only going to do some select bits and pieces. Um, and yeah, it's really, really cold today. My fingers and hands and my toes are just ice blocks. And it is a little bit depressing, but uh, hopefully I can get to speed. Yeah, so uh, a few shots in. I decided I lost my mojo for a bit, but I'm just kind of going through some shots that I kind of had fought out. And I'm uh, going to change lens again, get some more stuff. Today is all about efficiency, which is a bit depressing. Yeah, I know that I, I kind of, I, I need to get stuff shot so that I have time to edit. And then I'm going back to uni in a few days, which is not great. So, yeah, I've got a few shots I need to get, and I'm just going to go and get them. Got a big drop to drop in about five minutes, then possibly a big gap to send in about ten. So, <laughs> hmm. I'm a little bit nervous about hitting the, the stream gap. It's been, it's been a month or two since I last hit it, and it wasn't the cleanest. So, um, yeah, hopefully my ankle holds up. I might film it last actually, it might, might be worth filming it last. Otherwise I'm going to tweak my anchor. Oh, this is really boring, mainly because I'm really cold and I'm really like not that motivated. But uh, I'm trying to garner some sort of adrenaline from hitting corners hard. Uh, there's another one, what about whether to gap into or to sort of just roll this little rooty thing. So I've tried both and shot both for a number of shots. And uh, yeah, I think I'm, I have to wait until I look at it on the computer to see just what the difference in uh, sort of time is. Because it's, it's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell on the little uh, monitor I've got. Um, 
and like it's, it's barely any noticeable difference because you both times you have a pretty sort of big sort of compression and then flying out the corner. Yep, anyway, so let's change lens and let's get any other cool little shot. Just a couple more gnarly shots before uh, finally I have to do some more really fun stuff. Um, one more shot of this drop, which is just nightmarish. It's just like so heavy. It's quite big. Torture myself. Right, I'm pretty sure this is the last scary shot. Like fairly thin. Oh my god. This does not get less scary. Like, well, it maybe gets a little bit less scary, but oh my god. Each time it's just as risky. Both times a dream. <sighs> Finally done scary stuff, so. Oh, there's a squirrel. I'm gonna be able to see up my camera, but there's a squirrel up there. Uh. Glad to be done the scary stuff. That jump still gives me the shivers. And it's pretty heavy, so glad that's out of the way. Now I've got a couple of fun corners to finish up on. And I'm gonna call it a day. So uh yeah, hopefully this is gonna be what I need to uh, complete this new edit. <sighs> I think I'm building up ankle muscles which is good because uh doing all these drops is taking that out of me the last couple of months, but I think uh not feeling too bad today, Not nothing too tweaky, which is excellent. Oh. Right then. <laughs> I gotta get this place. I've done this before. <laughs> okay, that was officially the hardest shot in the entire edit. <laughs> Ow. Oh. Okay, screw that shot. Do the shot. Last riding shot complete. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Oh, I'm quite glad to be done with that. This, this today was a hard day. I think I got some good stuff, but it was, it was tough. I'm just tired, like, I was filming yesterday as well, so filming today again was, even though I wasn't filming myself, I was filming someone else, it was just like a, a long day out. So I'm feeling a bit tired now. I'm gonna have a rest day tomorrow, chill out 
fucking weird. I hope you enjoyed my latest solo project. Uh, I have been the Biking Squirrel. And if you'd like to support me, then uh, feel free to like this video, subscribe to the channel, or uh, find me over on Facebook. Links in the description below. And uh, huge thanks for all the support in the recent months as well. So, uh, cool. Big things coming in 2017, I hope. Uh, how about that for good bad luck? Managed to get a puncture on the uh, last shot of the entire actual video. Quite an impressive snake eyes, so uh, probably a new dent in my rim, which is already dented pretty badly anyway. <laughs>